older Catholics associate veiling with the pre-Vatican II church and maybe a childhood where they didn't learn to love Jesus. But young people don't have that kind of baggage. And what they're looking for are ways to express reverence, to recover beauty in our churches. I love this article, though, most of all, because the women that she interviewed, several of them admit freely that, look, I took up veiling because I thought it looked pretty. And I like accessorizing (laughs) and it grew into something more, Yeah, right? It grew into now I associate putting on the veil with being in a spirit of contemplation, with being in a sacred space and it became part of my prayer life. And I think that's a really interesting point about human nature in general. When we criticize outward pieties because we're like, well, it's not real because it's not internal and it's not fake. Well, the way human beings operate often, and we see this when we raise small children, is that first we we do things outwardly, maybe for not the most pure of intentions. And gradually we can become, we can transform those outward practices into something really true and authentic and spiritual. Criticisms, I think, miss the different ways in which God draws us into a deeper practice of our faith. And uh, Blaise Pascal, I'm going to pull in my philosophy here a little bit. Blaise Pascal, he said that if a man wishes to grow in piety and he doesn't feel close to God, maybe he should start praying on his knees. And eventually that outward practice will lead to true devotion to our Lord. So I'm not going to criticize beautiful, like this is an ancient tradition in the church. In the chat, I'm seeing a lot of interesting perspectives. And Lori interestingly said, I do not veil, but my daughter does, which would be like a weird experience. And then not to put her on blast, but like my mom, who I never thought in a million years would veil like not to say she's like a feminist or anything like that but just never would have imagined it recently has started wearing a veil and <laughs> she's in the chat Go I, I do not want to put my family in blast but like i actually was like i thought that was really interesting and i've talked to her about it and i need to talk to her again about it but um this whole thing kind of reminds me a little bit of um i was talking to this guy playing golf i was just golf with a random guy who's in his 60s and he's no longer catholic but he's like i grew up like catholic mm-hmm. catholic i was an altar boy we had the Latin mass. Like I was, you know, I was there. And he's now non-denominational. And I was like, you know, it's funny. Like he said that, like it was, I've never heard of Latin, which hilarious, the circles I run in, I guess. But I was like, you're not <laughs> going to believe this, but like Latin, Latin masses are like trendy again. And young people are going like, I, I was talking about the mass that we go to. And like, um, there is a Latin mass that the church would go to. He's like, it's all young people. It's all like really young people, young people with families, not all young people, but way more so than your you know, Novus Ordo green carpet church. And he, he was like surprised by that, you know, like, Oh, why that would come back. And Mm -hmm. I do think it has a lot to do with what you're saying about the the stripping of the churches. It it feels as though we've been robbed of something. So anytime you kind of discover something that brings you a little bit closer to that ancient tradition, I think it's really appealing. And I want to say most people, I can't speak for everyone. I think like people don't dislike veiling i think maybe they had a bad experience with someone who does veil and they're like Mm -hmm. oh they're just like in your face or obnoxious or maybe they just uh, that's projecting i don't know um but it's one of those things like at least how i see it i would never be like oh you have to but if it does bring you closer it helps and someone was like i think it was rosie who had an interesting take in the chat she's like veiling for trads is like uh, charismatic. It's like charismatic worship for like charismatic people. It's like, that is a very interesting take. I would have never thought of that, Mm. but I guess I feel somewhat similar about like maybe charismatic worship doesn't like appeal to me, but if it does bring someone closer and maybe it's a start towards like a deeper relationship with Jesus, then like all for it. As long as it's not disrespectful, of course, but I mean, charismatic worship, that's a really cool point. Charismatic worship, I think was my initial experience as a child growing up in the evangelical church. And it absolutely like praise and worship, uh, all of that goes along with that absolutely brought me closer to Jesus. But even by the time I was in college, uh, I'd very much like kind of grown beyond it, not to like denigrate people who still do charismatic worship, but there was just I wanted, I needed more silence. I needed more quiet to, to go further in my relationship with God at that point. But the charismatic movement absolutely brought me into a deeper relationship with Christ. And I think, like you said, there are, there are practices that I think a lot of times Catholics confuse big T tradition with little T traditions, right? Like little T traditions are like the veil, the scapular, um, you know, 
genuflect or whatever. Um, and then big, big T traditions are what's not unchanging about what, what is unchanging about our faith, what's not negotiable about our faith. And, um, yeah, part of like living the Catholic life as a relationship with God is understanding that different expressions of that reverence might, might change over time. And that's not that your faith has changed or the faith has changed from the outside, seeing this start to happen. Yeah. Um, it is a very, it would be a very peculiar trend because you're doing, if anything, it's going further from what, you know, a modern society is doing like covering yourself more instead of revealing more Mm -hmm. would be an interesting trend to see from the outside. And I think maybe what people would associate with that is like, um, what their problem with it would be is like, Oh, they're submitting to like an authority or like, because in Islamic cultures you get hijabs and they're forced to cover. Um, and so Mm -hmm. maybe there's like a negative association with that. But to me, um, it's, it's kind of cool. Like whenever people are doing something that's so completely against modern trends to the point where like people would point and call them weird potentially, like to me, it's like, okay, that's a cool nugget of like, why would someone feel so compelled about something to do something that would make them look like this, you know? And then that would be like, Oh, we got to look into this thing a little bit deeper, you know? And Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's also similar with what I see. Like the traditional Latin mass or doing things that are like, it's different even than the contemporary trends in the church. Um, why? And, and I think that was part of like with my mom. Um, and I think a lot of people, I'd be curious perspectives on this, but, um, in 2020, when churches shut down, um, you found out who believed and who didn't believe in what they were doing. And Absolutely. the only church that did not shut down, one of the only ones, um, they did the traditional Latin mass and, um, it's not that they were super public about the fact that they didn't shut down. Like they didn't make a big deal of it. They're just like, we're not going to stop, you know, <laughs> giving the Eucharist to people. Like that's more important. And if you're actually Catholic, you believe that. And so that was when my mom and even myself like started to go to the Latin mass. And like, that was the discovery because you're like, okay, these people clearly believe in what's going on. The people that just shut down, put up blast shields and gave uh, finger wagging homilies virtually about people get the vaccine. Like they don't really care about what's going on. Um, right. And so that was the start, I think. And then people there were veiling. And so that was kind of start down a new path. Um, yeah, it just r- really interesting trend. I, uh, I think it's okay. Like, <laughs> I don't know if people are looking for me to give a take, like <laughs> I think you it's need okay. to do this. You don't need to do this. I'm like, look, if it helps you great, if it doesn't, you know, it's okay. You don't, you don't have to, I never force someone to, 